Hello, welcome to this episode of the Book Fix podcast, where we fix lives one book at a time. I'm your host, Chelly. And I'm your host, Yahida. And today is a very special episode because it is the last one of 2022. We just counted how many episodes we've done for this mm-hmm. podcast, like in general. And this episode going up is going to be our 74th episode. Isn't that insane that we've done 74 episodes? That's crazy, girl. Yeah, dude. It doesn't feel like it. No, it doesn't. Um, And we started the podcast in May? May 25th of 2021. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's so <laughs> cute. We're, at, we're going for two years. Dude, it's wild. And mm-hmm. I mean, like you said, this is a big episode because it's end of the year. But we're about to reach 100 episodes. Yeah. And I mean, uh, this whole year, we've had a lot of a lot of good reads. <laughs> Not sponsored, but we've also had a lot of one star reads, but we're not going to focus on the negativity, of course. We're going to focus on all our five star reads today. Exactly. So this episode, we are going to talk about um, individually our five star reads of the year, as well as what we personally think are best book of 2022 is and then both of us are going to look at our spotify wrapped for the podcast yeah and so our best book of the year every year it's gonna be which episode performed the best because i feel like that makes sense right yeah that does and you're talking about book of the year for the podcast yeah as a podcast because we are gonna pick individually as well but for the podcast um we will let you guys know which which of the books that we talked about did the best dude i'm excited i'm more excited though to hear what your five star reads were really i'm excited to hear yours although i already know two of them (laughs) three of them actually four of them you told me (laughs) that you had 13 five stars yeah okay because That's something else that Chelly and I have talked about before. It's how lenient, I guess, are you with your five stars? I thought I was difficult. I thought I was a tough cookie. I guess not. (laughs) I'm just like giving them out freely because you have, what, nine? Yeah. In total? Yes. Um, I couldn't believe that it was 13. But then again, when I was writing them down, I didn't really contemplate it. So they could be different now you know because i probably feel differently about some of these but these are the ones that i gave five a five star to okay so i'm gonna go through my five star reads right now so cemetery boys by aiden thomas i gave five stars to i thought it was a really cute romance um i just loved seeing the mexican culture in the story um Sunbear Trials is pretty much the same thing, but I love that it was fantasy. And then there was Dioses and Diosas. I just, good times. I'm so excited for the sequel. These Hollow Vows, the duology, you already know. Fuck me up. <laughs> this whole year was made because of this duology. Um, We never talked about it, but I read Ray Bear by Jordan E. Fuego. Yeah. The main character, <laughs> I, I don't want to spoil it because I, I feel like this is one of those stories where you have to go in blind, but the main character okay. has to go through something that kept me on the edge of my seat the entire journey. And that's all I can say about it because I don't want to spoil it. Um, You already know King, <laughs> King of Battle and Blood. I've talked about it a million times. By Scarlett St. Mm-hmm. Clair. I feel like this story, not a lot of substance, but it had a lot of heart. And it is about vampires, <laughs> so... Okay. <laughs> I just feel like it means a lot to me. I think because my expectations were so low that it just it, exceeded it everything. It really did. And maybe it's also because you recommended this story to me, not knowing anything about it. And now you got me hooked enough to actually buy a copy. Did you actually buy it? I can't remember. Oh, you did. Yeah, Never, I you did. I, I have a signed it. copy. I want, oh, you I'm, sorry, to, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You had to said bring it word. up. <laughs> you said the S word. <laughs> oh, my it's gosh. Fine. 
I'm not crying. You're crying. Um, <laughs> this, woman, <laughs> this Woman Kingdom by Tahira Mafi, I absolutely loved the writing. I thought that she built a really interesting world in, you know, in the first book. So this one is another one that I'm really excited for the sequel. Uh, I gave it five stars. I put... <sighs> Um, uh, so th- this next one I read, I think it was either January or February. So it was really early in the year. Uh, it's Dread Nation by Justine Ireland. It's basically about zombies and it's really good. Okay. I, I, sh- I should read it again. The, the whole duology was really good, but I just really loved the first one. Okay. And then... Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. It was our first dark romance. It meant a lot to me. I haven't gone back to it, though, so I'm kind of feeling the same way with, like, other romance, like, romance like this. Yeah, Where it meant a lot to me when I read it, but I don't, I don't know. I still, I still really liked it, though. Mm. Um, And then, lastly, it would be Heartstopper by Alice Oseman because mm. devoured it it was so good <laughs> i didn't want it to end and i know i need to catch up but i really really love that story i'm glad <laughs> <laughs> thank you okay your turn wait well how many was that in total it was nine. Oh wow i could have down to nine see that's okay, so much so- better so then while i'm reading mine you have to cut it down to three now okay yeah <laughs> you I gotta do go that. smaller That's easy. okay well i had nine um five star reads of 2022 and i just want to say before i even talk about them um i was in different head spaces for all of these so some of these are <laughs> some of these are like i don't know what the word is outliers Compared to like what I usually read. Yeah. (laughs) Cause there's one that's like, Oh, I forgot I gave that five stars, but you know what? Yes. Um, (laughs) so I'm just going to go in the order that I have it in. Mm -hmm. Um, my first five star that I gave this year was to under the whispering door by TJ Klune, which Mm -hmm. is a book that deals with grief and loss. And it's done in such a like comedic way. So I fucking love this book so much. And I remember we did an episode for it on the podcast, but Mm -hmm. out of the podcast, I had told you after we had finished filming that one that I thought that this was going to be my top for the entire year, even though we read it in like January. So (laughs) I, I do remember that. I don't know if it will be, though. It feels like just yesterday that we read it. Like, it's so crazy to me that it's been this long. When we were was my first in your kitchen. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was my first five out of five. Mm -hmm. Um, The next one that I want to talk about is This Woven Kingdom by Tahere Mafi. I think this book is so good. Before the podcast, I wouldn't typically seek out like magical princess, prince, um, forbidden love type of stories. Like it wasn't really me. It just wasn't really me. I just I didn't seek that out. Um, this story has one of my favorite princes in like any story that we've ever read. I love Cameron. So no, No, (laughs) what, (laughs) dude? It's so funny because when I was going through my through my books of the year, Cruel Uh Prince popped up, and I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder what I rated this. It got a fucking two. So you gave it a two? (gasps) Yeah, she didn't cut it. Oh, she she really didn't. (laughs) But this. This Woven Kingdom is so good. Please go read it. So good. If I could give it a six, I would. Okay. (laughs) The next one is also um, the same as Yahaira, a duology. These Hollow Vows by Lexi (laughs) Ryan. Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't even need to explain it. Just if you love love triangles, this is your shit. Like, it's so fucking good. And um, we did do an episode for the second book, which Mm -hmm. was These Twisted Bonds. Um, you should watch that first. Go watch that because it was really good. And that book changed my life as a person. I feel like my skin is clearer. I haven't been <laughs> sick since then. It's not a coincidence. 
Uh-huh. My oh, next I wish book. I, I wish I could say the same thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm so as sorry. I'm literally trying to suppress coughs. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. My next book, my next book is Iron Widow by Shiran J. Shao. Did you mm-hmm. mention that one for yours too? No, I didn't. But I did think about it because that that one was a really good one. And I have thought about that one a lot. I remember I got that book on, um, it was, I think I had it on Audible. I didn't have a physical copy, so I just listened to it. And mm-hmm. I normally do that with books that I like, not that I'm not going to enjoy it, but it's like, I'm not going to ever read it again. So might as well just, you know, listen to it. Mm-hmm. So, um, it changed my life so much. I thought really? it was so beautifully written and I loved mm-hmm. all the characters in it. I even went out and bought a copy of it and um, it's a signed copy. So <laughs> I'm so like, oh, so well, you know what? Good. This whole Dude, I don't know how I find me being jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I find all these signed copies. It's they Barnes and like, Nobles. They always they got just it. fall on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> but i um love this book so much yeah, i don't know really what else good. i can say about it it's really good go read it i don't know if this is a shock but heartstopper by alice oseman what um, it's not like you read it every other day multiple times in the same day thank you You'd be like I hey Telly, what are you that. doing <laughs> oh still reading a heartstopper <laughs> i'm reading heartstopper but backwards this time <laughs> maybe it'll change how i feel about it I (laughs) love this graphic novel so much that when we finished reading all four volumes um, that we were it's because what we meet up and we bulk film and I remember that I was supposed to read another book after I had finished Heartstopper but I couldn't because I kept rereading Heartstopper I was like okay I'll read a chapter of the other book and then I'll read Heartstopper only two times and I would do that a lot and when the show came out it was even worse because i would read it while watching the show and like follow along dude i was in it so bad and i get it i understand it was really good i followed alice oseman on patreon and i Mm -hmm. recently read the nick and charlie novella and it made me cry um i love heartstopper that is a good five out of five um and you you contemplated you contemplated getting a tattoo of them uh, no, it's not contemplating. I am getting it. So <laughs> you, you haven't gotten it. So I'm going. I'm going to get it. I know it. I know what it's going to be, but I can't tell on the podcast because then everyone's going to get it and they're so. going to copy you. <laughs> um, my next one is my last one that um was from the podcast, and then I have three that I read on my own. But my next one is Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. <laughs> Shut the fuck up you were lying no i gave this five stars <laughs> what and honestly when i saw that i was like um do i still feel that way you so don't. i went on to, so i went onto my kindle and i opened up the book and i looked at my my notes Mm-hmm. I still feel that way. I thought this book was hella good. It was so cringy, but something about it made me love it so much. But weren't you over... If I remember correctly, weren't you over it by a certain part where they fought? Yes. And you were I, like, oh my god, I'm yes. done. This is the page where it I'm was, like, over it. It was the part where she didn't understand boundaries. I was, but... It hooked me, dude. Something about fathers. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm figuring something out about myself, but I'm okay Girl, with figuring this one We've out. known this. <laughs> we've known this since we were in high school. <laughs> five, five out of five. Would not recommend to anyone, probably. But if you like dads, oh, here you go. Can you imagine you if, know that what? Was, if, if that was your uh, your review? Would not recommend, but if you like fathers... Dude, I don't even know if I wrote a review for this one. Hold on. <laughs> All I wrote was, I'm not a fan of Penelope Douglas, but goddamn. <laughs> that's all I wrote. And that's all you need to say. That's it. I get it. So my three other five stars, I'll try to go through these quick, was Magical Boy by the Cow, because it's a story about a transgender boy whose descendants are all magical girls related to the goddess Aphrodite. Mm-hmm. And it's so freaking cute. It's a graphic novel. Um, I recommend it to everyone. I feel like anyone can enjoy this book. 
my next one is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Because literally, I don't know if all of her books are the same, because I know that you read The People We Meet on Vacation, and I still haven't finished that one yet. Throughout the entire story, it feels like I'm watching a rom-com. And I fucking love that. (laughs) So (laughs) I feel like her writing is super enjoyable and super Mm -hmm. easy to get through. So... I loved book lovers. I the, I go back to that one constantly because I think it's really. Cute. I, I still need to read it. You should. I'll give you my copy. My last one is a manga, and it was Sasaki Tomiyano by Sho Harusono, and um, it's like kind of embarrassing how much I like this manga. I have all it's of the. It's not volumes. embarrassing. It's not. Embarrassing. I'm a little embarrassed, <laughs> dude. I follow this as much as I follow Heartstopper. Like both of really? them are equal. Yeah, I read it as much as Heartstopper too. Like that's oh. my new Heartstopper. That's what replaced the hyperfixation. So you'll yeah. you'll go back and forth though. No, I will because I was watching Heartstopper earlier. <laughs> <laughs> but it's only because I read the novella recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just ignited your love for it. <laughs> Those are my nine. Damn, <sighs> I. Are you surprised by the amount of fives you've given? Um, I thought I gave more. But then again, remember how you told me? I think it's a little different because you actually rate and review things as soon as we read it. I didn't do that all year. <laughs> you don't do it. It actually drives me a little crazy sometimes because then I'll I'll be like, hmm. Oh, you'll put that you finished a book, but then you won't rate it. And then I'm like, how do you know? How do you know how you feel about it if you let it sit for months? Dude, and sometimes I'll finish a book and I just won't update it. And then I'll just be like, oh, I have time and I'll update it. And it's a bad habit. Like, come 2023, I actually want to start rating as soon as I read it and actually leave a review. And I've noticed that you're noticing me put reviews now because you're like uh, liking yeah, my think, updates. I think they're so <laughs> cute. They're so funny. I really enjoyed reading your reviews. I think my favorite one was uh, To Kill a Kingdom. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you just put nope. <laughs> no, it wasn't even just no. It was nope. <laughs> it was bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn, though. Okay. Looking at your nine that you have, mm-hmm. if you had to, to bring it back, you're, you're only going to have three. Which three would it be? That's hard. Is these hollow vows going to be in your top three? Yeah. For me, I think these hollow vows as a duology has to be in my top three because it meant so much to me. It just changed the trajectory of my entire life. So I just have to. (laughs) You know what? Me too. But then that only leaves one more open spot for me. So, Mm. so far I have Heartstopper, These Hollow Vows, and I'm stuck between Under the Whispering Door and This Woven Kingdom. Really? Okay. Okay, so for me, I'm saying These Hollow Vows, This Woven Kingdom, and oh my god, this is hard. Um, I have my three. You do? I was, yes. I was looking at it and I have it. Okay, what are your Heartstopper? Heartstopper. These Hollow Vows, and This Woven Kingdom. <gasps> wow, really? I I love Under the Whispering Door, but yeah. I look back at This Woven Kingdom a lot more than I do Under the Whispering Door. <gasps> I'm honestly shocked because I did think that <laughs> Under the Whispering Door would be a contender for you, for your top. Dude, I- it's on my top five, but Man, that's all like, that This Woven... This Woven Kingdom was so good, dude. It was really good. Um, I think for me, isn't it interesting that two of our top threes are the same? Yeah, so These we might have, have the same. The same 2022. top? 2022, yeah. Oh my god. Um, okay, so they, This Woven Kingdom by Tahira Mafi. These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan. And I'm going to say Sun Bear Trials by Aiden Thomas. Damn, that book, dude. That book meant the world to me. Do you know what? If I were to go back, I would maybe give it a five. Because I gave it you a four. Did but I a said five. a five. Yeah, you know I said a five I'm on the podcast. Rewind the tapes. <laughs> dude, I don't know. Like, I I don't know. 
I, I did really like it. And I think that's good for your top three. I just didn't think that one book that we read so late in the year would leave a lasting effect on you. What do you mean? Because we've read well, so much this year. I know. Honestly, I uh, part of me wants to pick Dread Nation because that duology was so freaking good by Justine Ireland. But it, it is mm-hmm. kind of hard to it's hard to pick a top when this year has been so fucking long. So obviously I remember Sun Bear Trials more than Dread Nation. So it's a little unfair, yeah. but yeah, oh that's that's life, I guess. I don't know. But it would still be in your top five if you had to do a top five. No, yeah, for sure. That one was so good. Okay, so you have to eliminate one of your three. Oh my god, don't do this to me. <laughs> this is like a game show. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Um, if I had to take one away, I would take... <laughs> I'd probably take away Sunbear Trials. Oh God! Yeah, I know. Ow. It's like ripping a bandaid. No, literally. Can you add like a like a booing track, like boo? <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, if I had to take one away, and I mm. have Heartstopper, these Hollow Vows, and this Woven Kingdom. Mm. Um. <laughs> It's because all of these three have impacted me. (laughs) In different ways. I'm going to take off these hollow vows by Lexi Ryan. So you're going to keep The Swollen Kingdom and Heartstopper? Yes. Okay, so mine is just between The Swollen Kingdom and these hollow vows. Mm -hmm. See, it's hard because these hollow vows has a conclusion and The Swollen Kingdom doesn't. And honestly, so much can happen in this story. It's going to be your top of 2022. You can't change I it. I know. I know. And it's it's really it's really difficult to pick. And as much as I love both of the stories, Damn. I just feel like um, it, it's so funny. I'm going to pick a favorite and I'm going to change my mind tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, you're going you know to wake Haunting up Adeline's at 5 a.m. <laughs> change the episode we gotta redo it i think uh, because of the writing i'm gonna pick this woven kingdom because i really really as like your the top writing. one yeah oh it's my gonna be my God. top yeah i, I just really like the for writing sure, i thought it was gonna be these hollow vows no girl no i mean hey second place it's pretty good second place ain't that bad I'm also stuck between Heartstopper and This Woven Kingdom because you're right. Heartstopper technically has a conclusion with the novella, but I feel um, like you're going to pick Heartstopper. (laughs) You know what I mean? I'm stuck, dude. (laughs) But I feel like you you love Heartstopper. But I always go back to that one scene in This Woven Kingdom where Uh um, she pops in at the party at the end and, you know, he says that thing. It's like, just tell me you came back for me. That's my favorite fucking scene. (sighs) That was so sad. (laughs) What a sip. (laughs) (laughs) I love him. He's the best character. I know I love him too. (laughs) Stop I think... Okay. (laughs) (laughs) I think... I think... Because it had such a big impact on me, I'm gonna choose Heartstopper. Exactly. Alice owes me. <laughs> Thank you. I could have picked it. It did change you. my life. Because <laughs> it changed your entire life, and you're gonna get a tattoo of, of it. Because it's so good. Oh. <laughs> did you see on Goodreads? It tells you what your average star rating is based yes. on all the stars you've given. What's yours? Yeah. You already know what mine is, and it pisses me off. <laughs> is it five? <laughs> Oh, wait, no, you're middle ground, aren't you? Shut up. <laughs> Mine is middle too, I'm though. Mine triggered. says three. <laughs> no, you know what it is? I think it's because I either give a really high rating or a really low rating. You know what I mean? Nothing in that between. That makes sense, right? Yeah, that does make sense. I don't know. Let me do look. You think, do you think now coming into the new year, 
um, <laughs> I'm gonna you're going to stars. be more strict with how you give stars? <laughs> um, no, I don't think so. I think I, I think? am. I think five stars have to go to the ones that change me completely. <laughs> but like that's so difficult to person. say because I know because we might it means just read so a bunch much. of flops. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so my average rating is 3.4. <laughs> Damn. Mine is 3.06. Oh, wow. You're you're tough. <laughs> I guess so. Um How many pages have you read? Um where does it say that? Oh, for the end I haven't looked at the 2022 thing yet cuz I haven't finished my Goodreads goal. Oh, yeah. I'm going to wait. Well, I guess we we could talk about that um, next week. Yeah, when we're in the new year. Then we can talk about what our new Goodreads goals are. I'm seven books away, by the way. Oh, me too. (laughs) I haven't changed because, you know. So I had mentioned that I'm at 93 right now. Mm -hmm. And since I'm so close to 100, I'm like, should I just go to 100? But I don't know. So you're doing it for yourself personally? Yeah. I mean, I've I've been wanting to read, but it's yeah, um, no it's, time. yeah, I haven't really had a lot of time to. Damn, dude, I'm not shocked with what you chose as your top. <laughs> Why would you say that? Because I feel like that one stood out the most when we filmed our podcast episode. Same with you not being shocked about me picking Heartstopper. <laughs> no, I'm not shocked. They were, they were really good, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm surprised we had so many books that we liked this year that we did for the podcast. But then again, I'm surprised there's so many that we didn't like either. <laughs> I feel like if we go through the books that we've given a low rating to, we'd probably be like, damn, we're so mean. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know. Do you want to watch our Spotify wrapped? Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you watched our Spotify wrapped already? No, I was going to, but then I stopped. It says that we created 2,792 minutes of new content, which is more than 99% of other creators in the arts category. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay, so now, because it mentions it in the wrapped, we can talk about our number one episode for 2022. Should drum roll. Go. <laughs> <laughs> it was Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. Dude. Is anyone shocked? Dude, that episode did so well. It was a little intimidating. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> Me too. I think it's because we, we filmed it right away. That was the time when we started promoting ourselves a lot more. Mm-hmm. I'm really proud of that episode. It was a lot of fun to film. And I think that we really wanted uh, to try to post things as it's coming out. So, for example, whenever Shadow and Bone comes out, I think we're going to try to also be up to date at the same time. I think it's more fun, right? Because then uh, everyone's talking about it. It is more fun. We did that, too, this year with Malice and Miss Roll. Oh, but then that one... It makes me so sad how <laughs> Malice was everywhere on TikTok for a second and then it was gone. Oh, can I mention, though, even mm. though Heartstopper was our top and we knew it was going to be our top episode because it blew up when it was posted. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, Punk 57 and Spanish Love Deception from last year did really well. Yes. Yeah, they did. And they're still doing really well. Like, they still get a lot of um, streams on them. Where do you think we got the most views from, like, area-wise on the world? U.S. Is it? I think so. It says that our views are 57 countries, and our top five are the U.S., Canada, Australia, Bulgaria, and Germany. Oh! That's so cool. My sister told me that that people who speak other languages in foreign countries often listen to English podcasts to learn Uh English. I mean, that makes sense. It's funny because when I listen to us in two times speed, maybe it's just 
I feel like it's our professions and like what we've been raised to do. But both mm-hmm. of us enunciate words really well. <laughs> oh, I have to. I think we both have to because of our jobs. Yeah. But I think it's funny because in two times speed, you can hear all of our words really <laughs> crisp. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a such an unexpected compliment, huh? I know. Who would have thought? Good enunciation. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Although sometimes I do feel like I mumble. <laughs> Our best time for our podcast when it like did really well was April. Well, it was probably because of Heartstopper. You think so? I think, yeah. Oh, yeah, I it was so. because that was the break. I don't know. Hold on. I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. Oh, you're right. It was Heartstopper. <laughs> April 26th. Exactly. I told you. Our podcast was in the top 25 most shared globally. Here's how listeners spread the word. 69% um, spread it through direct link, so they would link it to their friends. 11% spread it on Twitter. 7% spread it on WhatsApp. 7% on Instagram and 6% on other. Oh my God. That's so weird. I've never (gasps) seen someone link our podcast. Me neither, but I'm curious to see what the context is. There was this one time I had posted a TikTok and it was about haunting Adeline. Mm -hmm. And I remember getting a comment on that TikTok and they were like, oh my gosh, I just saw this on Twitter. And it's like, hello? (laughs) We don't have a Twitter. I I do remember that because it threw us off. We were just wondering who had shared it or Mm -hmm. what they had said right but i feel like it's probably shared through um book twit book twitter book tweets what are they called i don't know yeah book twitter um so i think that's what it is maybe it's just like threads of random book talks that people enjoy it says that our podcasters personalities are adventurers your listeners venture out into the unknown, searching for fresher podcasts and gems yet to be found. That's really sweet. That is really sweet. So I feel like they probably are constantly looking for new things to new listen podcast. to. So I think that's cool. That's tough for me. I, I need to start. I think that's one of my goals for 2023. Um, I want to, to be actually listen to. No, listen to like different podcasts because I don't listen oh. to many anymore. I don't listen to many either, but it's because I don't really have time. And if I do have time, I would rather be listening to like audiobooks. Yeah, I get what you mean. Because I feel like I'm wasting time if I'm not. Reading. Yeah. <laughs> Is Dude, that a bad habit? Have... <laughs> no, I don't think so. Because I'm the same way. I feel like now coming into the end of the 2022, I'm going to try to set like monthly reading goals. Not super strict though, but if I can, that's great. Because I do want to just, like, explore more genres or different authors that I don't really see that much on TikTok. Yeah, I get you. Dude, our podcast had so many gains this year. Just gains on gains on gains. That's what I was about to say. I thought it was going to call us out because it's like, have you been working out? And I'm like, um, (laughs) don't tell me that. (laughs) I have been. Thank you for noticing. Dude, it's gains because of how much we did this year i feel like we did a lot of promotion a lot more than we did before Uh uh-huh it's crazy to it's crazy to see it pay off though right yeah it is because remember how embarrassed we were (laughs) to just be like come listen to her i was embarrassed i don't know if it I was just more like, I'm not much of a sales girl, you know, like I can't really pitch things because if you're not interested, you're not interested and I don't care. But it's hard for me to like sell myself. But I'm trying. I feel like we're both trying a lot now. I think we've gotten more comfortable with it. Yeah, I think we have to. Did you see that we're... I still wouldn't be comfortable being like, hey, listen to the pod. No, I get what you mean. Because I... (laughs) Isn't I can say so much about that on TikTok though. Like I'm okay with promoting us on TikTok, but mm-hmm. if it ever came to like, remember when we had our bookmarks and we went to the the book festival, but then we chickened out. 
Okay, but that's different, though. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to overcome stuff like that. <laughs> I know. I that feel didn't like feel gonna... like the time and place, though. It didn't because we would just leave. We would have to leave it in random booths, mm-hmm. and it just didn't. I don't know. It didn't feel right to me, at least. I don't know. No, it didn't feel right to me either. So apparently, so I feel like number... I just feel like I'm imposing. Is that is that I like a Pisces thing to say? Either. No, no, I maybe it is. I'm a Pisces too, so we'll never know. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but um, I feel like <coughs> we just have to push for promotion next year too. Yeah, I think that's going to be one see, of our major goals. Did you see where it says where the top? 10 podcasts for this many fans top five and then top one yeah i wonder who those top ones are i bet melissa's in there i hope so <laughs> i really imagine we're not oh my god i'd be so sad so sad so do you listen to our podcast on spotify like you personally yeah i do because i i want to well, okay listen i'm a fan okay is that embarrassing? I'm a fan. <laughs> I think you're funny. That's very sweet of you. I always give it a week and then I listen to it. You I listen it to old week? ones a lot. <gasps> no, yeah. I listen to it as soon as it's out. I'm like, okay. Number one fan. Dude. Okay, I'm just me, at I guess. The last page. <laughs> Stop. Dude, I'm looking at our last page. <laughs> the amount of percent up from listeners from last year is kind of funny. <laughs> damn we really boosted we really went up you all have to consider it's like a percent raise from like how many listeners we had last year compared to this year you do have to consider that when we started our podcast in 2021 mid-year we did nothing to promote it (laughs) no we didn't (laughs) it was really just us um doing it for funsies hoping that someone would come across it and think oh my god let me share this real quick mm-hmm. so it is really but helpful honestly, it was that it people was do share sweet. us yeah it's weird to me that people share us i want to see where those shares are not weird like, amazing lovely wonderful now i got a twitter stock i don't know <laughs> dude i tried looking us up once because i was trying to look for that tiktok and i just mm-hmm. looked up story and things but so rest in peace (laughs) Uh, it was a long time ago but i had looked up story and things but so many things because people say that term a lot like oh Mm -hmm. story and things just like in general so it was hard to even like begin to look for it i guess we're just so original (laughs) (laughs) well now we're the book fix and i think that fits us more i think so too because you know dude what are your okay wait what are your goals for our podcast for next year? I want us to, well, okay, because we decided that we are going to try to do Tuesdays and Thursdays, which I think would also help us a lot in our growth. Mm-hmm. And so I hope that we are able to just promote ourselves a lot more. And especially because we're going to be going to, like book festivals so maybe if we do get comfy maybe it'll be a little bit easier for us to you know maybe accidentally drop a couple of bookmarks i don't know just a couple (laughs) yeah i get you i get you i'm hoping that yeah i mean just that and i'm hoping that we get to connect with more readers and i think one of my major goals is for us to finally have our eddies award show i think that would oh, be really fun yes we Edward's we've been putting it off mm-hmm. yeah i i i kind of thought that maybe that could have also been connected to like a yearly wrap-up if that makes sense that would be pretty cool <clears throat> but i don't know because the holiday we are episode 100 yeah that's true and I don't know, the, to do it during the holidays is really difficult. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're both really busy as is right now. <sighs> yeah, exactly. I think but... my biggest thing 
that I want. Oh, wait. I wasn't done. This is like, sorry. A, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really I'm sorry. No, it was rude of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I just, last thing I wanted to say was just hopefully include um, just more diverse books as well. Yeah. Just because, like, I don't really want us to be those people who are always just recommending things that are constantly seen on TikTok, you know, because they're already, already being been recommended. Yeah, but I feel like we'd have to get in a good place in order to do that. Okay, I understand that. I agree with you, like, on all, all the points. Um, I... I think that my biggest thing, because even though I agree with you, I, I want to form more of like a a relationship, I guess, with like other book talkers or book podcasters. Or book Like I, I want to actually talk to them. Grammars. But I'm so shy. <laughs> what? No, I'm you're so not. shy when it comes to that. When it comes to that, yes. One of my favorite book talkers commented back on something I had written to her, and it literally took me out the whole day. <laughs> you're like, and I'm it's still taking me out to say her to name. <laughs> oh my god, you'll have to tell me who it is later. I will, but I I do want to actually talk more to people in the community. I think that, mm-hmm. like, because we always say it at the end of our episodes, the best type of exposure is through word of mouth. And we're not even practicing that. What do you mean? I feel like I'm always like trying to make I friends. Oh, you're better at it than I am. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're good at it. You, you're just typically busier. Well, now with my job change, um, hopefully the new year I'll have way more time. Yeah, that's true. That's a good goal to have. Yeah, I, I really do want to do that. Oh, oh, I have one more. I have one more. I want us to finally do an episode on an arc that we get. <gasps> oh my god, that would be so cool. Yeah. That's oh my god, what I imagine. Want. That's all I want. I think that's a good the I because I don't want to set too many goals because then I feel like we'll, you know, fall <laughs> behind on them. Mm-hmm. So my only goals are to do an episode on an arc. And also to talk more to people online. Those are my mm-hmm. goals. That's Those are good ones. Those are good ones. Love them. Um, I don't and think you're right. They're... We should do more diverse books. Yeah, just because I don't know, because it, it's definitely difficult because we want to grab the attention of as many people as we can. And obviously we have to do popular books in order to do that. Right. So mm-hmm. I think having two days in, in the week would definitely help us out to be able to have that balance. I really hope that um, this batch that we're doing currently is our last batch that we have to do remotely. That's probably not going to be true, but I really <laughs> do miss like actually being together when we film. Yeah, me too. It definitely changes the vibes. <laughs> mm-hmm, but I, I think it's cool that we still have an option. Like not... Not being together isn't going to stop us from, like, filming. But exactly. hopefully we, we can see each other soon. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we can meet. We can meet up for this next batch. Okay, oh, shit. Hopefully we oh, it's do. next week. <laughs> I know. We got to talk about it. We'll talk about it after the episode. <laughs> I forgot. Um, Why did I think we were going on vacation? <laughs> <laughs> Are we? Where are you taking no. me? No. Um, we're going to Disney World. Uh Whoa. Okay. I'm done. I'm already there. I'm in Florida. Um, so talking about our growth, um, mm-hmm. we set goals for our mm-hmm. social media. Oh my and God. Honestly, the only thing we really were active on is TikTok. And okay. For mine, I aimed very low because I think I was struggling with, um, even thinking about posting back Mm -hmm. then because Mm -hmm. when we started our tiktok it was mostly you (laughs) and i would pose like or post occasionally but it was always Mm -hmm. like very short ones and you were over here like leaving book reviews and yours were so funny and i was like oh my god (laughs) i can't keep up by the way we wrote we wrote this january 7th 
Whoa, dude, that's yeah. wild. So, and then I wrote where we were at on TikTok. We we had 24. 24? Mhm. January 7th. Damn, dude. And, um I well, I mean I wrote 17, so it has to be. Yeah, I aimed very low and I said by the end of the year we were going to have 100. <laughs> Because I thought it was going to be harder to get followers on TikTok. You really aim low. I wrote here what I thought your guess was going to be. And I thought you would have guessed 2,125. (laughs) (laughs) I love that you kept it very specific. Honestly, that was my second guess. (laughs) Oh, dang. You should have kept it. Should have kept it. No, I aimed low, dude. And it's funny because I remember when we passed it, I was like, oh. I was wrong. Really? No, see, I ne- I didn't look back at this. So I didn't even remember what I wrote. <laughs> Dude, I looked back. Oh, gosh. Wait, well, what did you write then? What did you think we were going to have? So I am the opposite of you. I was trying to manifest. I was trying to make this happen for us. And I didn't realize how um, difficult it would be to reach a higher number, but I guessed 10,000, which is very no. high. I know, <laughs> but hey, you know what? We're on our way there. We're so close. Dude, it's crazy because we currently have 1,856, mm-hmm. but it's wild that we even got to that point. I <laughs> like, know, even though I Because wrote- you can technically say that we got 2K. Yeah. And... I mean, even though I wrote this guess, I was honestly just trying to manifest. <laughs> so I I do feel very happy with where we're at because our growth happened so quickly. I remember there was one night you and I were both on the phone. And remember that one TikTok I posted that for some reason blew up? Like a the lot. The one where you were eating an apple? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. What a that. weird one. I think <laughs> Not that weird. was where most. <laughs> I feel no, like... it's like what a weird one for it to blow up. It's so weird because I think that it's always the ones that we don't expect. Yeah, I would. Well, that one was really good because... though. Thank you. Sometimes though, it's I get what you mean. I'll like post something and I'm like, oh, this is gonna do so well, and then it does like okay, and then I'll post yeah. one that I did in five seconds, and then it gets like a lot more traction than the others do yeah that that's that's how it is and then i'll be like damn this one was good guys come on please please throw me a bow <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i mean we've been we've been doing pretty well staying consistent we like struggled a bit because both of us have very very long jobs that seem like mm-hmm. they never end <laughs> no honestly i feel like i'm still there right now but i mean i think we did pretty well yeah i'm proud of our growth It's been really fun. So later today, we'll have to make new assumptions. (laughs) Should we do it here? No, let's just do it later. Because I I want to like sit and think about it. (laughs) Okay, that's fine with me. We can do it after we we click pause. Yeah, and then we'll come back in a year and see where we're at. Damn. Okay, wait. Let me just do the math. If we read eight books in a month, that means next year we're going to be reading. Oh, my gosh. Wait, hold on. I'm a teacher, but it's currently break, so I don't remember how to multiply. So give me one second. Oh, my God. There's no way we're going to do eight every single month. There's no way. I mean, that's like a a goal, I guess, because we do want to try to post twice a week. Mm -hmm. But that means we're reading 96 books next year. And if oh this my is our God. 74th episode, then <gasps> by next year, we're going to re- have 170 episodes. Dude, that's <laughs> that's insane. That's a, that's a big difference. Yeah, it is. We're at 74. That's like... <laughs> <gasps> oh my God. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited for more reading like i feel like december has pushed me to read a lot because of my stupid goodreads goal but like 
I don't know. I feel like this podcast in general has helped me to just like pick up a book and read because I didn't realize how hard that was before. No, yeah, it was. It was like impossible for me before. And it's nice. It's nice actually getting through my bookshelf and can point stuff out and be like, oh, I've read this. Yeah. Or, oh, my God, I see the symbolism here. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. Just depends. You want to know something funny? What? The other day, um, my sister and my cousin came over to spend Mm -hmm. the night. Mm -hmm. And we were going through all the board games that we have in the house. And I brought all the ones that I used to have in my my other home. That's in where you live. Yeah. (laughs) Um, But I was going through all of them. And my cousin picked up that one that we played. Remember the the one in the red box where you're supposed to get to know someone in a deeper level? Yeah. And I was trying to teach her how to do it. So we played around. It was me, her and my sister. And um, one of the questions that I pulled out that they had a guess for me was um, if you could recommend me a book, what would you recommend me? And my sister was like, you read more than us. Like, Why would we recommend you anything? <laughs> That's so honestly like, like oh, the worst yeah. card for, for them to pull for you. <laughs> But yeah, I just thought it was cute. Well, I'm looking forward to more um, filming. I really enjoy doing this with you. I know. Me too. I feel like it's been so fun and it's definitely been something that I look forward to, especially with our busy schedules. Um, Because it's still... funny though? Mm. Because... Even though we live so far away, this like podcast helps us keep in contact with each other. I know. We have to keep in contact now. Isn't that crazy? We're legally bound together. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> don't say it like that. It's like we're married. But no problem, I guess. Oh my God. Which I mean, if you want to be, it's fine with me. But you got to ask first. <laughs> okay. Yes. But like... <laughs> But it was because it was hard for me to like reach out. I'm such a, I can't, I don't think about things if they're not in front of me. So yeah. it's so hard for me to text back. Yes, I'm so sorry I know. about that. You know what? Let's habit. talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't break me down. I might cry. You know what? It honestly breaks my heart sometimes. I'm like, I think she forgot about me. I don't know. <laughs> no, dude, you are always on my mind. I just always- have... On my mind and in my heart. Short attention. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you for finishing my sentences. I just have such a short fucking attention span. So me too. The fact that I can read through all of these books is kind of surprising. (laughs) That's honestly how I feel too, though. I'm just like, damn. We really we've we've been reading a lot. (laughs) Yeah, dude. It didn't hit me until I was like scrolling through my Goodreads because Uh it feels like just yesterday that I read Hating Game and I'm like, damn, it was March. Like, that's fucking wild. You stayed up all night for it. Yeah. And then that same bulk, I think, was the one where you sat next to me and we were talking about Malice. (laughs) Oh, yeah. And you were explaining Maleficent to me and you cried. Oh, my God. You still haven't seen it. We're supposed to watch it together. (laughs) I'm not going to watch it without you. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll you wait. better. If you watch it without me, I will cry again for different yeah, reasons. I'm going to wait. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm looking forward to the new year. I'm looking forward to the new year with you and with anyone who wants to follow us into the new year. I act like mm-hmm. we're about to go out to war. I we know. <laughs> it feels like uh, I feel like a weight has lifted, though, because we're, we're going to leave these books. In the trenches. Oh my god. It does kind of feel like that. As soon as I reach my Goodreads goal, I'm like looking forward to my reads in January. I know, me too. I want to say, I want to give a big thank you to everyone who listens to us on audio Mm -hmm. form, whether that be Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or anywhere you get your podcasts on. It does mean so much to us that Mm -hmm. you um, even give us your time to listen to us it's so sweet yeah. of you guys and for those oh. of you who leave reviews five stars oh my god that's you guys are the real so ones sweet. the real oh. ones and it's so sweet that our episodes have been shared and it's really nice to see that so thank mm-hmm. you guys so much um i hope that you continue to like what we post in 2023 and hopefully you'll continue to share it yeah and 
Um, I'm going to promote this a little earlier than I do usually, but we do have a TikTok. It's um, at the book fix, T-H-E-B-O-O-K-F-I-X. And I just want to say that, you know, we are trying to talk more to people. So if you are listening to us and you want to hear us talk about a certain book, you can always DM us and let us know what book you want us to talk about, because that's the whole reason we talked about Den of Vipers. (laughs) Oh, God. So. Which honestly was a mistake. <laughs> no, I loved so, it. I loved every second re- of it. It was re- one of the best only episodes good books. we filmed. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was really fun to film. Yeah, but um, yeah, reach out to us because that's what we want to do. We want to make um, episodes for those of you who are actually watching us mm-hmm. and listening so to we, us. So we do take requests. Mm-hmm. If uh, you want to help us to continue to grow this new year, if you um, could please tell your friends, families, loved ones about us, because the best type of exposure is through word of mouth. Um, we are also on YouTube. So if you are watching us, um, if you can like, comment and subscribe, that would be amazing. I think another one of our goals is to be more on youtube i guess on it's point. such a weird way to say it because we're very behind right now yeah. um, oh my gosh also this one will also only be audio based again we'll try yeah, to do hopefully better it'll be one hopefully. of the last uh hopefully don't count on it <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much everyone um for listening and we'll see you in 2023 bye happy bye. new year <laughs> And this is where you insert all the firework sounds. I know. This is where we play the 20-minute montage of all of our funniest jokes. Oh, wait. Okay, go. (laughs) Funniest joke that we've ever told on the podcast. Go. The funniest joke? I already know yours. (laughs) I already... I know which one you're going to say. Which Um, one? The PEMDAS one. Yes! (laughs) (laughs) It was was during... um, Evelyn Seven Hugo. husbands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> I think it's because I just watched it recently, but on the voting game, when we have those moments of like, we're gonna just we're just gonna take another shot. We're just gonna take another shot, and, I'm, and I tell and I tell you, girl, if we take another shot, I'm gonna be out for the count. And you're like pouring me a drink already. You're like, anyway. <laughs> Here you go. Dude, I can't wait to get drunk again. I think our drunk episodes, like, because there is, like, a type of drunk. There is, like, getting to to the point of being super drunk. And then and when we reach that point, it's, like, couples next door. Like, we can't come back from it. We can't come back from that, and it'll never see the light of day again. Like, couple <laughs> next door, we filmed that. We were so belligerent. We were just, like, out Dude. of it so funny there was another one we tried filming where that happened but you know what we learned from our mistakes new year i think i think we wanted to do the silent patient if i remember correctly and you were like no <laughs> you, you kept saying no and i was like yes i'm ready i'm ready to do the silent patient i can jump yep. I, I can recite the whole thing to you right now beginning yeah, middle but then end. we we stopped recording and i was like go to sleep <laughs> And I pass out. <laughs> and, yeah. Um. Oh yeah. So 2023. Hopefully. Shots. Hopefully shots, more shots, shots, shots. 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 And that. <laughs> <laughs>